Hey everyone, Andrea Walford here for Simon Says Stamp. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this Winter Cats card featuring some exclusive products from Simon Says Stamp. So my first step for this card is to create a watercolored night sky background. I have here a four by five and a quarter inch piece of Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock, and I'm going to be creating my background using two different colors of the Distress Ink refills, Seedless Preserves and Broken China. Now, as you can see, I've placed a few drops of each on my Ranger nonstick craft sheet. Then with a half inch mop brush, I'm taking a little bit of water and the first thing I'm doing is framing in the area in which I want to paint my night sky background. So what the water will do is the border or the edge will help contain the color to that area. Once I finish doing that, I then just pick up a very tiny amount of water with the tip of my mop brush and begin with my first color. Now I started off here with the Seedless Preserves color and applied it along the top half of my cardstock. And you can see here that the water is pulling the color downwards, but it is staying contained within that area that I previously defined with the water. Now, once I was finished with the seedless preserves, I then rotated my cardstock just to make it easier to paint, cleaned my brush, and then started applying some of my Broken China Distress Ink. Now, because the Broken China is not quite as intense a color as the seedless preserves, I did come back and add in more of that to try to deepen the color. Now, once I had done that, I used the water that was on the paper to help blend the two colors together. So once I had applied as much color as I wanted, I then gently lifted up my watercolor paper piece and started angling it back and forth, side to side, being careful that I didn't ever angle it too much because I didn't want those drips to come off the paper. Again, I wanted them to stay contained within that area that I defined. So I simply kept angling and rotating my piece until the colors blended the way I wanted. And I continued with this angling of the piece and blending of the colors while I then proceeded to heat it with my heat tool. So now once my watercolored background was completely dry, I then took some of my Tim Holtz Picket Fence Distress Spray Stain. Now I made sure I shook it up really well, and then instead of using the tip of the spray nozzle, I set that aside and grabbed a bamboo stick, and I dipped my bamboo stick into my bottle, and then from there I just very gently tapped it and flicked it across my piece until I got as many splatters as I wanted. And I did this so that I could create the effect of stars on my watercolor night sky. So I set my watercolor background piece aside to dry and then grabbed my Simon Says Stamp Christmas Cats stamp set and I took one of my cat images and stamped it using some VersaFine Onyx Black ink onto another piece of my Tim Holtz Distress watercolor cardstock. Now after stamping the image I grabbed a coffee filter and some of my WOW Ebony Ultrafine embossing powder, sprinkled it on the image, tapped off the excess, used a little brush to brush off any stray embossing powder and then heated it with my heat tool until the embossing powder melted. I also went ahead and stamped a hat image to go with my little cat and I heat embossed that with the ebony embossing powder as well. Now to color in my images I decided to use some of my Zig Real Brush markers. I started off by applying a little bit of the red marker to the left side of my hat and then took a small round brush dipped in water and used that to pull the color across to the very end of the hat. Once I had done that, while it was still wet, I then grabbed my Wine Red Real Brush Marker, applied a little bit of that color to my hat, and then used that same paintbrush. I didn't dip it back in water because it was still damp, and I used that to pull the color across and give me that beautiful dimensional look on my hat. Now I colored the cat image in virtually exactly the same way except this time I only used one color of my real brush marker. I used the beige color and I started off by using the brush tip and applying color along the outer perimeter of my image and then I took a slightly larger round brush, dipped it in water again and started pulling the color inwards towards the center. Now in order to eliminate the brush strokes around the edges, when I was applying my water I used kind of little circular motions around where the edge of the brush stroke was just to kind of brush that out. And you can see as I start pulling the color towards the middle, it lightens that color. And then with the color that was left behind on the brush, I then just use that and pulled it across into the area of the cat's stomach and to fill in the ears and the feet. 
And then once I had applied that first layer of color while it was still wet, I then came back with my real brush marker and started applying a little bit more in select areas just to create a little bit more shading. And then I pulled that color out using a smaller round brush. So after my image was completely dry, I then decided to try to go back and correct those areas where some of the watercolor marker had leaked beyond the edges of my stamped image. So to do that, I simply took my Secura White Jelly Roll pen and just colored directly on top of that watercolor marker. Now once I had done that, I then took the coordinating dies with this set, and as you can see, I aligned it with the image, held it in place with washi tape, and then die cut them. So after die cutting my images, I set those aside and then decided that I was going to die cut the Happy Winter sentiment from the Happy Winter Simon Says Stamp dies out of some silver glitter cardstock. Now to keep the dies from sticking on the cardstock, I applied a piece of wax paper in between the die and the glitter cardstock, and that just makes the die cut pieces pop out that much easier. And then I went ahead and die cut it using my Big Shot. So once all my pieces were die cut, I then just arranged them on my background piece. Now to stick them down, I simply used a tweezer to hold my pieces and then applied some of my Tombow Mono Multi-Liquid Glue to the back and stuck each of the pieces down, holding them in place until the glue set. So once I'd finished sticking all my die cut pieces down to my watercolored panel, I then assembled my card. Now my card base I created out of a 120 pound piece of Simon Says Stamp white cardstock, and I created a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. I then stuck a panel of purple cardstock onto it. Now I simply looked through my stash to see what I had that coordinated with the colors in my watercolored night sky. And what I found was a piece of cardstock from a coordinations 12 by 12 cardstock pad. It's a Tim Holtz Ranger Adirondack collection. I then stuck the panel, which is four and a quarter by five and a half, to my card front and then used some more of that Tombow glue to stick my stamped and decorated panel to my card front. And then to add a little bit more sparkle to my night sky, I took some of my clear rhinestones in a medium and small size and applied a scattering of rhinestones to the top left of the cat and then a couple towards the bottom right. So there you can see what my finished card looks like. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and I look forward to crafting with you again.